I guess this is what most people will call a barn find because it's an old car that's in an old barn, but we've known it's been here for 40-ish years. This is dad's first car and we're here with dad. So <laughs> why don't you talk about your car? Well, it's a 63 Dart GT. Uh, it's got a 69 Dart GTS 340 in it with a Edelbrock tunnel ram and fender wall headers. And it's got an eight and three quarter Roadrunner rear end in it that I have to get narrowed to fit right. And what was what was it when you bought it? It was a six cylinder slant six push button automatic car, and now it's the 340 with a four speed. <laughs> and you told me it was wrecked when you bought it. Yeah, so put, what was wrong with it? Put fenders on it and inner fenders and radiator support just pretty much everything in the front but it wasn't wrecked that hard it didn't get the frame or anything it's just uh was it wasn't light yet so, and how many miles were on it you it was only a couple years old when you got it wasn't it uh we got it in 67 maybe it's a 63, it's about four years old. And it's got... Looks like... 58? 58, 7. 58, 7, 30, 24 miles. Hmm. It's not bad. No. No, don't have many. Body's really solid other than the rear lips. I put them on, they were off of a Pontiac, but I got the original ones for it. They're in a trunk. So, it's got... Right now it's got uh, Roadrunner wheels on it, but like I said, I have to narrow the rear end. It's, it's tubbed, and the springs have been moved in four inches already. So it's, I made the tubs for it, and they're in there, and uh, like I said, I moved the springs in, so it's pretty much all the hard work's already done. It just needs... The fender lips put in it, and then just start redoing the whole body, which you know, shouldn't take be that bad because it's yeah, it's not rusty. No, the fenders is about those lips is about the only thing that's really bad on it. And being up here, it's not hasn't in the wood rusted at all. In the wood barn, it uh, stayed pretty good. There's one little spot in this door I got to fix, but the other door is real good. And that's the only really rust on the whole car. Hmm. Then the interior, just yeah. get yeah. just get new Needs everything. New Needs a new one. And Seats, a headliner, mice have eaten a headliner. And then just go back red. Yep. Back red to interior. The car was originally white, and I'm gonna go back original color on the outside. Just uh white's easy to take care of and if it needs touched up it's easy to touch up and just yeah. go from there undersides good and clean yeah it had that real thick heavy undercoating on it and I, I got it straight scraped off up to the doors and the underneath's painted black or sodium and I just got some more to do from the doors forward once I get started to get on it oh okay and you said that all the moldings I got for it except this trunk piece. That's the only piece I don't have. Oh. I don't know what happened to it. I lost it. And... Oh. If anyone knows where there's an original trunk molding, let me know. 63 GT. Dark GT. And, and, and you told me you put a different nose on it, didn't you? It's a 65 nose? Well, it's got nose. a 65 on it, but I'm going back to 63. And you got the fend... Do you have the I, fenders already? I got or? the hood, 63 hoods back on it, but I gotta get fenders. I thought these fenders would work, but they're a quarter inch longer than the 63, so I gotta go back and get some 63 fenders. Hmm. But uh, other than that, I pretty much have everything for the car, just odds and ends stuff. Mm -hmm. 
like I said, I have all the moldings but that one. Uh, I got new back, brand new back bumper. Uh, front bumper, I got it. I'm going to re-chrome them both. But uh, that's pretty much the car. And you got a front suspension kit, didn't you? Yeah. Uh, taking uh, the drums off, I got uh, disc brakes for the front. Uh, upper and lower control arms going on it. To take the larger lug wheels, like the four and three quarters, and I have to put 15 inch tires and wheels on it because uh, the discs are that big that you got to use 15s on it. Mm -hmm. Originally, they were 13s. Right now, the ones that are on her front are 13, the backs are 14, but I got to go 15s all the way around. And... Uh-oh. Looks like it's leaking something. <laughs> as far as... <laughs> I think. It's a, it's a little oily in one spot. <laughs> oh, oily? It, it's an old car. <laughs> well, yeah. I, yeah, I, like I said, I haven't been under it for 40 years, so... <laughs> yeah, yeah, it hasn't moved in 40 years. It, the motor's got to come on and be tore apart and new gaskets and stuff and it shouldn't it shouldn't need anything go check the bearings but it's only got 24,000 original miles on the motor the car come out of <laughs> so you know it shouldn't be wore out it just might need freshened up it's an, it's one of those it ran when parked <laughs> right <laughs> when I pulled it in there it was runnable and you drove it like this for a while for a, a little while, didn't you? Mm -hmm. Like in the primer? In high school, I drove it till I was a senior, then I got another car, but yeah, I drove it for a year or so that way. Hmm. I had a lot of fun with it, but I just want to get it out and get it fixed up. Well, finish it off. Well, hopefully we can get it down in a couple months. Yeah. Clear a couple cars out of downstairs and Too much make some room. Shop. I'm always working on other people's and never did mine. So, well, hopefully, now you got this the, year. You got the parts, most of the parts for it now, so you should be able to. Odds and ends, all the rubbers I need, door rubbers, wind, wind and back window rubbers, and just odds and ends, basically. I know where there's a pair of fenders, I gotta go look at them and see how good they are. Came off the same car I got the hood from, and and the problem, the problem with the old Chrysler cars, it's not like a Mustang or a Camaro where you can find the parts in a no. hundred different places. There's like one or two places that make yeah. reproduction parts. And, and the bad part with the old Chryslers, they had inner fenders in them, and all the fenders rusted right down through here where the inner fender rubber ran against it. So. Hopefully, those are still good if mm. we want to find some somewhere. But, uh, hmm. but I, I got a good pair of 65 fenders and a bunch of 65 parts <laughs> that I'm going to be getting rid of. Yeah. So, so, a bunch of stuff to sell. Yeah, brand new old stock moldings for the 65 for the grill and around the hood and fenders and just odds and ends hmm. so that's well, where we're at hmm. well yep hopefully a couple months well maybe not even that long hopefully sooner than that can at least get it downstairs and get it cleaned off and the in the garage yeah all right well hopefully we'll have some more updates soon